Hello, procrastinators. It is me, person. Uh, welcome to season two, episode three. Um, today we have to resow the fields, and I've decided that I'm going to sell the cedar and the cultivator, wherever that is. And we're going to buy a self-cultivating cedar, so we will go to the garage and we'll sell this. Sell. Okay. We'll sell this. Sell. Alright, back. Sewing machines. <coughs> this is what we want. Yep. Okay. Now, we don't have much money, but it's not to worry because it. we will now be able to sow the seeds into the field really quickly with this thing. So, where's the tractor? Alright. We'll take him over to the field. I mean, the, mach the sewing machine. And we'll sew it up. Just attach him on the back. Refill the sewer. Very simple. Um, yeah. Wait, wait. There it is. Why are the wheels spinning? Look at that. The wheels are spinning. What's that about? All right. We only have six hundred six hundred fifty-seven dollars. That's not a problem because we'll just. It's not a problem at all, and I know what I'm doing, which is I'm going to plant canola. Canola will be what we plant. Yep, canola. Seems reasonable. Uh, seed selection. Oh. And yeah, unfold. Cost a lot of money to fill this thing up, but not a problem because this thing's big and it should seed it pretty quick. So turn on and lower. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. So we're putting our canola into the ground. I can't drive straight for some reason, but yeah. So. My plan is, because canola is going for a lot, a fair amount, so I'm thinking we just get this all seeded really quickly, and then we just make a whole bunch of money from selling canola. And what we'll do is we'll seed this field, and we'll seed the other field over there, as you all know. Or don't know, I don't really know. But yeah, there's another field over there. I harvested that field last episode. But yeah, we're gonna seed this one and uh, let it all grow. Assuming we have enough for both fields, which we should do. But if we somehow don't, it doesn't matter because we'll just we have at least, we definitely have enough to seed this whole field. That's for sure. And that will give us enough to yeah, we could just plant canola for ages, and we basically got infinite money now. I'm having a bit of trouble keeping the thing straight though, that's for sure. Um, yeah. So... Oh, whoa, 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 what? Oh, I must have accidentally pressed V when I changed the camera. Whoops, we don't want to do that, that's for sure. I'm just hoping we don't get out into the negatives. I'm gonna put plant growth on too fast. Where's plant growth? Is it? No, it's... Yes, here? Yeah. Alright, very good. Alright. Yeah. Alright, yep, yep, yep. That's what I wanted to do. And now we'll just keep seeding. Uh, hopefully we eventually get enough money to buy some wood cutting equipment. Um, 
if we're gonna do wood cutting though, we would need a better front loader. Because the one we've got now is only good for bailing. But we need one that can pick up blocks, and that one doesn't like have the right hydraulics or whatever to pick up logs because it can only go up and down but it can't move it like the actual thing itself if you get what I'm saying it can't I don't think it can operate a claw basically at least very well so we'd have to get a like New Holland or something that has a uh, front loader capability and then we'd have to actually buy the front loader extension itself And put that on, and yeah, we're hot. We're seeding this pretty quick, and we've still got heaps of seed. We've probably got overkill. I probably didn't need to get that much, but yeah, we have that much, and it is what it is. I'm hoping this all grows fairly fast, so we can get onto uh, harvesting it in this episode. And once we harvest it, we'll obviously, uh, sell it, obviously, and then, once we get enough money, we'll buy some new equipment. Uh, I'm not sure where, what the next step will be at this point, since we've already got the cedar, but I do have a goal, as I mentioned in the last episode, of eventually buying a big truck with a trailer, so we can transport a lot of crop at the same time, and, um, I'd like to buy that 20, crop 23 over there at some point. That costs a lot, but I think we can do it eventually. Now that we've got this big cedar, we will get there eventually, that is for sure. And we've got the baler, so if we ever need to bale, that's there. Not planting any baleable crops today, though, because I just want to get. I'm just focused on getting money at the moment. I mean, bailing obviously does get you more money, but like, I just need to be sh able to get it quick. And once this all grows, we can just harvest it and sell it. And canola goes for a lot, so it's pretty good. Yeah. And the uh, we'll take it to the grain elevator, like we did last time, because the grain elevator has the same. It's the same price as the bakery, but it's a shorter trip, so it's more worth it. So yeah, we're getting through this field quick, that's for sure. And it's nice to have a, a, a sower that uh, cultivates the field on its own. Because it can get a bit tedious having to cultivate and plow every time. Although we haven't done any plowing, we've only done cultivating. From what I've read, uh, plowing's like, you plow when you want to put in a new seed, and then you cultivate when you're replanting the same old seed, so, I don't know if that's 100% correct, I'm going to assume it is, but some people say you plow and then cultivate, so, every time, so yeah, and that's, that's probably the correct way. But, at the same time, the game only starts you off with a cultivator. It used, like in 2013, it would start you with a plow. But, the newer games only start you really with a cultivator, so I'm not entirely sure about that. There are plows though, you can buy plows, so... Yeah, we don't have any, we don't even have a cultivator now. We don't really need one, because this thing says it plows and cultivates itself. That being said, I think if you want to harvest beets or potatoes, you have to plow, because there's no self-cultivating ones. So yeah. I'd assume the, uh, the reason it self-cultivates is because it's like got an inbuilt cultivator at the front of the uh, cedar, as you can see. So yeah, that's pretty interesting, I'd say. We're 
we've gotten through this pretty quick. A lot quicker than we would with the uh, other cultivator and the other cedar. So yeah, we should be getting this all done really quickly. And we'll be able to harvest soon. So that's going to be good. Looking forward to that. That's for sure. The sewing is going pretty well. I'm doing a pretty good... Oh. Well, I was until... Oh dear. I may have made a mistake. Come on. Move. Ah! Alright, I think... Yes, we got it. We got it. Whew! That was a close one. We nearly lost the cedar. But not to worry, we are back on track. Um, in case anyone's wondering, no. Derek Tebbers still hasn't come back. It's a real shame, to be honest. Um, I quite liked his videos, as I've mentioned before. He made good videos, um, but I don't understand why he um, quit. He says, although he says it like the money he wasn't getting wasn't worth it, but like I've seen people with about the same as him, and they're doing better. But then again, it's not just the subscribers that you have; it's how much promotion YouTube gives you. And when I say I saw people with the same amount of subscribers, they also did similar content, like Farming Simulator and that. I'm not comparing it to, like, someone with the same amount of subscribers, but they do really, like, avant-garde crap. Anyways, that, um, field is done. So we'll just leave that to grow, and we'll move on to this one here. So... This one here is a lot smaller. As I've found. I s like I kind of wonder if it's worth even sewing it, but at the same time, oh, whoops, gonna turn it off. Like I think it is like more any see any harvest is good. Like the more the better, so it's pretty much worth it. And we've got a big cedar now, so we'll have like heaps of seed to plant. That's for sure. So we'll just uh, get this one done. So what shall I talk about now? Um, I don't know. Well, I will say why. Like, once all this is planted, what I I'll cut until it's all grown, and then we'll do the harvest. And I should get a pretty decent amount of money from all this. C canola always goes for a lot of money. It's always the most... people are always willing to pay the most for it. I'm just hoping it doesn't go down in our price when we go to sell it. Because that can be annoying. But it's also something you just have to deal with. Like, something that happens. You play it earlier... oh! Uh... Uh... Hang on. Something's on great demand. Um... Ah, oh, and what do you know, canola has gone down, and wood chips are up, well, not much we can do about that, since we're not, um, we're not cutting wood at the moment, but canola's still about the highest, I'm hoping it will go up, good thing we didn't do any corn though, that's going for jack, but yeah, canola's still, it's still in the 2000s, so it's gone down, but... It's whatever. We're still gonna get more money than the other stuff, although would maybe bailing would have been worth it, but I don't know. I'm just gonna play in canola for now. Hopefully, if we're lucky, we'll go up. But we that probably won't happen. Uh alright. Uh okay. Yep, yep, got it, got it, got it. Good, good. So Farming Simulator 15. Uh, this has been out since 2014, which is quite a while. <coughs> and uh, 19 is out now. And what do I think of 19? From what I've seen, I haven't played it, but from what I've seen, 19 looks really good, and I do plan on buying it at some stage. And 
even once I buy it, I will still continue with this series. But, uh, something I'm slightly disappointed about, and it's only slightly, it still uh, looks like an awesome game, but the way you plow and cultivate and seed and all that, it's really similar to here by the looks of it, where it's just like the texture gets changed and you've got like the little grooves around the plow itself. I was kind of hoping like by now they would have had like some sort of dynamic ground system in place that has been in some game, other f rival games, like if you remember Agricultural Simulator 2013, um, that game had like a dynamic ground where you'd plow and the actual ground itself would change, like the grooves in that, it would leave grooves in the ground and all that, it wouldn't just change the texture to like simulate plowing, it would like actually be the real deal, like actual change in the ground's formation. And a few games have tried that, and the thing is, like, that was cool in Agricultural Simulator, I haven't played it myself, but I've seen the videos and it looks cool, but Obviously the reason a lot of people didn't buy it is because that game was extremely buggy. And I don't think it's been fixed to this day. So, um, some other games have also tried it. Farm Expert 2017, I believe, tried it as well. And that game doesn't actually look that bad, but it does have negative reviews as well. And I also think it's been abandoned by the developers, so that's a, like a real problem. But, it, it, it looked like it had potential, but, so it's a shame that that game did get abandoned, but, and I am surprised, because that was a Playway game, and Playway are usually known for making quality products, like Car Mechanic Simulator, Simulator. and they also did, um, Professional Farmer 2014, which got mixed reviews, but was overall a at least a working product. But uh, yeah, I think the latest game to try Dynamic Ground is um, Cattle and Crops, or was it Crops and Cattle? I think it was Cattle and Crops, yeah. But yeah, that game has a Dynamic Ground system, and people have actually compared it, like the way the ground works, to spin tires, which is pretty cool. And that's that game is known for having pretty realistic mud in that, so... Yeah, Cattle and Crops looks good. It's in Early Access at the moment, so... It can... It will pro always have dynamic ground, I'm pretty sure, but like... It's probably going to get a lot better in the future than what it is at the moment. But it, at the moment, it definitely looks good. I think it's got like some performance issues. But overall, it looks like a solid farming simulator that... I think will rival the Farming Simulator series at some point. Maybe. It really depends if they can uh, do it right. <coughs> Which I think they can. It's got the um, the dynamic ground sort of stuff that was in Agricultural Simulator, but it's already way less buggy as far as I've seen. So that's always a good sign. That being said though, Something else that Agricultural Simulator did that I don't really see in any other farming simulator is you actually had to make the plow, the not the plow, the fields from scratch. And I haven't seen that since Agricultural Simulator 2013. And it's interesting that no one has really done that. Um, hang on. So yeah, no one's really um, done that since Agricultural Simulator 2013, because even Callan Crops, you s I'm pretty sure you still have pre-made fields in that game. So I would like to see a farming simulator where you have to make the, crop the fields yourself, instead of all these uh, pre-made ones that you have to buy. So yeah, anyways, so... Now, I think I will leave it here for now, and I'll come back when all this has grown. So, yeah, as you can see, it's already growing, so I will be back when all this has grown. 
All right. So, the canola is has grown up completely and is ready for harvest. And before any of you freak out, yes, I am aware that is in the negative. This is not a problem at all. The amount of money we are going to get from this harvest and the future, the next few harvests we do, will be sufficient enough to keep us out of the negatives forever after this. So, without further delay, let's get right into it. So, lower B, and let's go. <coughs> so, yeah. Yeah, the canola looks pretty good, healthy. I haven't done any fertilizing to it, just because I don't own a fertilizer. Um, and obviously at the moment we're in no position to buy a fertilizer. We will be once this is all harvested. Whether or not I do though, I don't know. That being said, all this um, canola that's coming out and getting shredded, that's pumping nutrients back into the ground. It's so, the, the earth is definitely healthy, that's going to be healthy for the next harvest, that's for sure. And, also, so we, to prevent us from losing, for going any further into the negatives, I have put it, plant growth all the way down, and I've put, the time is set to real time, so... Before it goes down any further, we will have sold this and made loads of money from it, so it's really not a big problem at all. We're only in like 400, so we're not gonna we're not gonna lose any more money, that's for sure. Um, that crop over there has already started to uh, grow. I mean, well, obviously it's growing, but some of it's already ready for harvest, so that's that's good. So once we've done all this will bump the plant growth back up and harvest all of that. I uh, haven't checked to see if um, canola, the canola price has changed at all yet. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to assume it's uh, probably still... It probably hasn't changed much, to be honest. I doubt it's gone up. Uh, I'm hoping it hasn't gone down anymore. I'm hoping this just stays where it is. So yeah, once we... I'll give it a check once we harvest all this. It really doesn't matter though, because regardless it's kind of too late. We've already har we've already planted it, we've already started the harvest. So yeah, it's too late to be in all honesty. But thankfully, we have the new, harve new harvester, I mean we have the new sewing machine that sows and cultivates by itself, so we don't even need to worry about cultivating or harvesting, which really speeds up the process and allows us to get all of this really quickly and make money really quickly. I probably will have to get a fertilizer at some point just to make sure the crops are always good and healthy and whatever fertilizing does. It's always good to fertilize the crops. Keeps pests and all that away. Or pesticide or whatever. I don't know if you can get pests in this game. I think the newer ones you can. I don't think 15 has pests, but it's whatever. It's still a fun game. Simple, but effective. Yeah. We should put the beacon on, because that makes us look professional. And we are farming professionals, even though this is not professional farmer. I would not touch professional farmer with my life. The, um, 14? 14 was alright, I believe. I don't, I only played the demo, but from what everyone said, 14 was alright. Professional farmer for 2014. But, uh, 2017 is awful, from what I hear. It's not good at all. And then you've got professional farmer American Dream. Which you can't even buy. Like, even if you wanted to buy it, you can't. And even then, why would you? Because apparently, I hear it's also awful. But, it's interesting, because the first game in the series was made by Playway. And then after that, they got like, 
Professional Farmer 2017 was made by Viz Games. And that was a really odd choice, because they're the people responsible for like chemical spillage, plant simulator, or and airport firefighter simulator. And I used to own airport firefighter simulator, but I owned it on Desura, and Desura shut down, and you can't you can't get any of the games off there anymore. It's weird. I have no idea how to. But yeah, I don't think it's that big of a loss because the game isn't that great. But that's the thing. I'm surprised they UIG chose them to develop the next game because they're not exactly known for making quality products. But neither is UIG themselves. So yeah. But then again, they made the right choice for picking Playway for the first one. So I don't know why they didn't just stick with them. But then again, something must have happened because Playway took like the source code for Professional Farmer 2014 and turned it into Farm Expert. Because if you look at Farm Expert, it's basically the same game except like with uh, newer features and that. But it's weird. And the very last Professional Farmer, I think, was just done in house by UIG. So that was also obviously why it didn't work out. But the uh, before that they had Agricultural Simulator, which I mentioned earlier, which um, I think that was made by Actor Logic and published by UIG, except for 2012, which on the Steam page it has UIG listed as the developer. Maybe that's a mistake, I don't know. Because 2012 and 2011 look like the same game, pretty much, but then Again, so do Professional Farmer, American Dream, and of Professional Farmer 2017. They look very similar, but American Dream is made by UIG, while 2017 is done by Viz Games. So I guess, I guess the UIG had the source co like the source code in both situations, and then built upon it, making the new game. But like, yeah. But yeah, the agricultural simulator. If they actually like stuck with it and polish it up, that actually could have become a actual competitor to Farming Simulator, but the series was just abandoned. I think because there was like some complication between UIG and Actor Logic, so they didn't end up finishing that series. Well, they f they f yeah, no, they didn't finish it, because the games they released are at least the very last two. 2013 and Historical Farmer, they were buggy messes that were probably just pushed out to make grab cash. But it's a real shame because if those two games were actually polished up and uh, ran well and everything was working, they um, would actually be a really good competitor to Farming Simulator 2013 because of the, um, the system they have in place where you have to make your own fields and also like when you plow fields it actually makes a groove in the ground instead of just being like a changing the texture. I mean, in this game, when you plow and that, grooves do appear around the implement, but the actual dirt itself is still just um, a text, like it's just changing a texture that's got like bump maps or whatever to look like it's grooves in the ground, but it's obviously not really. I mean, cultivating, cultivating makes the ground fairly smooth so you wouldn't really have any bumps driving over this but like when it's plowed I would actually think there sh would be like a bit of bump in that but there's not not in this game at least so yeah but yeah if professional farm not professional farmer agricultural simulator did have that but uh it was so buggy and half the features didn't work in that so no one wanted the game and it's got mostly negative reviews so yeah it's unsurprising uh, hmm. speaking of professional farmer anyways I actually went back and played the demo version again recently and something I noticed that was odd like everyone like in most videos I see of it like when you drive you leave tread marks in the gra ground and that and like I've heard people say that, like in this game, grooves appear around the implement, but when I played the demo, it didn't have any of that. 
but at the same time that is the demo so I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and assume the full game does still have those features. It'd be weird if they removed them. And I did have the settings all maxed out so it was kind of weird. But yeah, it's, it's actually kind of a shame that Farming Simulator doesn't, all the competitors really weren't much of a challenge because like they were, I feel like Farming Simulator would have evolved a bit more than it has, and it has definitely changed a lot, and for the better, but I feel like if it had a really strong competitor, like 19, they would have pushed 19 a bit more than they did, and 19 definitely looks great, and I'm going to definitely buy it, but what I'm wondering is after I get 19, will then the next Farming Simulator even, should I even bother? Because from what I hear, like, some people say 19 isn't that big of an improvement over 17. And it's definitely a big improvement over this game. And 19 definitely has amazing graphics and definitely improves from 17 in a lot of ways, but just not in all the ways that I think people wish it did. So, yeah. It's kind of surprising. And we've nearly gone all this field. And the tank's not even full. Is does canola fill up less? Like, is does canola take up less space in the vehicle than uh, wheat? I don't know. Because I swear, like, when we harvested wheat, we um filled up the tank by now, but we haven't. So I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Nevertheless, we're still going to get a fair bit. We can actually go and uh, harvest all that over there before we... Um, we'll probably be able to harvest what's grown over there and then before we uh, sell any of this. So yeah, that'll be good. So yeah. Wheat. The canola looks good. Nearly called it wheat. The canola, I think, wheat is a lot lighter in colour. It's got a very different colour to it. It's a lot more, I guess, yellow. This is a little bit more like greeny brown, I guess, is what I would call it. Something I noticed, but yeah, well, we were talking about 2019 before. Uh, so yeah, definitely looks good, but like, what will. I'm hoping that in the next game. There is a lot more change and just like a few like new tractors and that. And like I'm hoping apparently I have heard that there have been working on dynamic ground sort of system where you do get the grooves in the ground, but they didn't add it in nineteen because they weren't satisfied with it. But like I feel like whatever they've got now would still be better than what was in Agricultural Simulator. Because Agricultural Simulator it didn't it looked it looked good, but that game didn't run well at all. So yeah, it definitely needed a lot of polish. So you know what? Maybe that's why they're holding because they don't want an agricultural simulator situation with farming simulator. And I'm kind of hoping that maybe with the next game they do a more of a Euro Truck system where instead of releasing a new one annually or whatever. Instead, they'll continue to make updates for that game for a few years and release DLC that to keep the game alive. Because that's the thing with Eurotruck. Eurotruck has both, they release free content for it and paid DLC, so, and that's awesome. Like, the paid DLC is actually good, most of it. Like, I think most of it is just a few skins, but there's also new, bigger map expand the map and like new cargo types I actually bought a um the other day I bought Euro Truck because I didn't own Euro Truck until recently I had played it but I didn't own a legitimate copy and the last time I had played it I was like 13 14 so I wanted to buy because I had American Truck Simulator but I didn't have Euro Truck so I decided to buy Euro Truck 2 on uh, a disc I got a physical copy and it came with the cargo bundle, so that came with the three different cargo type DLCs, 
and I basically got them for free because the amount I paid for the uh, disc was like ten dollars cheaper than the uh, base game on Steam. So I basically got the base game cheaper and then free three free DLCs with it. So that was a pretty good bargain, I'd say in my opinion. I think it maybe even less than maybe eight. I don't know, but yeah, I got it pretty cheap. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that purchase and. Euro Truck is a lot of fun, and like Euro Truck and both American Truck, I enjoy them both. Even like the original Euro Truck, I bought that recently for like really cheap as well, and that game is also surprisingly a lot of fun, even though it's so much older. But yeah, I do quite enjoy it. Both Euro Truck, Euro Truck Simulator 2, um. American Truck Simulator and uh, Scania Truck Driving Simulator. I enjoyed that one as well. I bought that a while ago and it still holds up even though they don't update it. Graphically, that game looks a lot like Euro Truck but, and plays a lot like it, but it's just the different challenges and all that. It's really hard, but like still fun. And the difficulty isn't like because of unfair game mechanics, it's just because of actual like having to drive a truck and the skill, your skill, it reflects your skill, the way you play it, but yeah, I'm talking a lot about trucking simulators and a farming simulator, which, there are trucks in this game, but obviously Euro Truck has better truck physics than farming simulator, so yeah, anyways, that is just for now, so I'm just going to go dump this out, and then we'll take it to the grain elevator, I would assume. Ah, we always overkill. So, yeah. So, can we get up here? Yep. Nice. Look at that. I wonder if, um, we'll get the whole trailer out. We should do. Yeah, we'll get all of that out. Look at the guy. He's holding the lever there. But he only... I like how he's got, like, the steering knob on the wheel, but he's not actually holding it. He's just grabbing it with his hand. That's interesting. So that's all out now anyways. So we'll put that in. And before we head off, I just want to make sure that Canola, Canola has stayed the same. So we'll just go to the grain elevator. And once we do this, we should get heaps of money from it. So my plan is to basically just do what I've done here a few, a few times over and eventually we'll make all our money back and more, I would assume. I I don't know if I'll do all the... I won't plant all of it on camera. I think after I get all that there harvested I will sell it and then maybe replant this and sell it a few times off camera because that's just going to be boring watching this the whole time because it's not boring to actually play it but like watching it can get boring if I do the same thing over and over I mean so yeah but uh yeah so that's the green elevator right there it's actually just right there like, look, that's the bakery over there, you can see the bakery, and then the grain elevator is like just here, so it's really close. Oh, look at this. I'll like drive right through the sign, which I find quite odd, since in the other two maps, when you drive through a sign, it actually gets knocked over. So I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, yeah. Uh, I wonder if this map's in 19. I feel like probably not, because the way it works is the map from the, uh, like the luxury edition, because this is the gold edition, but they'll always change the name. It'll either be titanium, platinum, ultimate edition, whatever. But they're always basically the same. It'll have a new map and new equipment. It'll be basically like a luxury version of the game. <coughs> Excuse me. And they release it like a year after the uh, original released. I, for both 13 and 15, I waited until those were released, but I think with 19, I'm just going to get the original and maybe upgrade the titanium or whatever it's called when it comes out. 
But yeah, look, we've got 12,000, over 12,000 dollars. So yeah, that's pretty good. We made all our, we haven't made it back the money we had before, but we have made back, we're not in the negative anymore, that's what I'm trying to say. So, now what I think I will do is, um, I will just wait out until the, uh, those have grown and we'll harvest it, sell it, and that will be it for today's episode. So, I'll be right back when that is all ready to harvest. Alright, so, the rest of the crops have grown, and so, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So, turn it on, and, yeah, let's go. So this is uh, doing pretty well, I'd say, in my opinion. So I don't think we'll get that much money from what is left here, but it's still obviously worth harvesting all of it, I'd say, because any money is good money, and we need as much money as we can get, because we obviously have less now than what we start off with in the episode, but I think from here on out, we're just going to get more money, and hopefully by next episode we'll, I'll have enough to buy that field over there. And once we have that field, we can obviously plant more, because that is a huge, fairly huge field. And uh, we'll have to get some animals going at some point, that's for sure. Because um, we can chop up grass and give them, like feed the grass to them. We've got a fair bit of grass around here. Like, obviously cows will provide milk, and milk sells automatically, so as long as we care for them, we'll get lots of money from milk. I'd assume sheep would be wool, and then chickens are eggs. Chickens, you have to collect the eggs and sell them manually. So, and you've got to make sure you have a lot of chickens, otherwise you're just not going to get that many eggs. So yeah, sheep, cows and chickens are the only animals in the base game. Uh, newer games, the newer ones, 17 and 19 I believe have pigs, and 19 has horses. So, apparently pigs were, pigs were quite a popular mod before they were added officially, to my understanding. I never used it, but, because I, I don't care for pigs, but, uh, yeah, they were a popular mod, I hear, and they, yeah, so it's cool. But you had to, like, get, like, custom maps that were designed for having pigs, so, yeah, that was that. So yeah, after all this, I've harvested this and uh, once this is all harvested I'm just going to sell it and that will have to do it for today's episode. It wasn't, today's episode wasn't too interesting but this is something that had to be done. Uh, hopefully, I'm not sure what we'll do next episode, hopefully we'll have something. Maybe I'll buy some chickens or we can do some more bailing, I don't know. We'll have to figure out something. We'll also have to get onto logging at some point. We didn't do any forestry work last season, so I think it's something we should really look into doing this season. So that'll be good. So yeah. Mm. Mm, I'll just uh, hurry up the recording for this.
Alright, so that is that field done. So I only filled up like 33%. So both fields didn't manage to fill up the thing entirely, which this field isn't surprising, but that field I'm kind of surprised honestly. But nevertheless, it should still give us a good amount of money. So we'll just go pop it in the trailer, sell it, and yeah. Alright, uh, I parked it in a weird spot. I'm gonna have to turn this around. Alright. Yeah. Very good. Ah, oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, crash it. I oh, don't go out. Damn. Oh. Alright. So that's all going in there. And that's it. How much you feel? 20%. So yeah. Not a lot. But anyways, we'll go to the grain elevator and sell it, and see how much we got from that. Not sure what to talk about on the drive there. Um, I don't know. Well, in the next episode, um, what will we do? Ah, uh, I don't know. I've talked about this a few times already, but yeah, I definitely want to get the uh, other field bought. I'm hoping, like, before that comes around, I'm going to probably sell a bunch of wheat off camera, gonna plant a bit and then sell it all off camera because this I will basically just do what I did in this episode already but a few more times just to get some more money and then hopefully after I've done all that we'll have something new that we can do for next episode whatever that is maybe do some mission work because we have a front loader and I know some front layers require missions, so we might be able to do some missions, who knows. So how much did that get? 17,000, so not bad. I think there might be um, so also some wheat, not wheat, some grains still in the uh, silos, so I might sell them off camera as well, but yeah. That'll have to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed, and until next episode, uh, keep tractoring on. Yeah.